Shaking Layers is a new way of presenting earthquake information on GeoNet. Dynamic maps illustrate the intensity of ground shaking caused by an earthquake in different parts of the country. The size of an earthquake is often described using magnitude, which is the amount of energy released during the earthquake. But the shaking we experience is different depending on where we are on the Earth's surface. Following an earthquake of magnitude 3.5 or greater, Shaking Layers maps are produced using ground motion data that tell us how intense the shaking was at different locations. The first maps are automatically produced within 10 to 20 minutes of an earthquake and may be modified over time by GNS seismologists as more information becomes available. Shaking Layers maps are interactive. You can zoom into the map and click to see how strong the shaking was in any area. The maps use coloured contour lines, like we see on weather maps, to indicate the bands of shaking intensity. The deeper the red lines are, the more intense the shaking was in that band. You can toggle between the different views using the layers icon at the top right of the map. Again, the darker the colour, the stronger the shaking. The intensity of ground shaking scales up from unnoticeable to extreme. A legend at the bottom right of the map explains what kind of shaking the different colour shades reflect. You may like to use shaking layers out of curiosity to see if the shaking that you felt in your location matches what our data are telling us. Or you can use the maps to check on the shaking your friends in Fano may have experienced where they are. The detailed felt reports that people can submit on the GeoNet website are also valuable for the science team. Your answers to a short questionnaire give more specific information about how strong the shaking was for you, which helps our seismologists create better maps. So thanks team Aotearoa for your efforts to help our earthquake science. Don't forget to drop, cover and hold in an earthquake. And learn what you can do to be best prepared on the Civil Defence Get Ready website.